The first transcontinental railroad ran for almost 2,000 miles from Council Bluffs, Iowa to the San Francisco Bay. It connected previously existing rail lines that led from its starting point all around the eastern side of the country. While it was built on public lands, it was constructed by three companies rather than the U.S. government. The railroad was built from both ends by two different crews who met in the middle on May 10, 1869 when the final Golden Spike was tapped, marking the completion of this massive project. They didn't meet in the exact middle, with the team on the west coast covering a much smaller distance because they were lazy. I mean, because they had more mountains to deal with. The route originally went between Omaha and Sacramento, being expanded to the San Francisco Bay Area around six months later. The railroad companies that took on this task were compensated greatly being paid between $16,000 and $48,000 per mile depending on the terrain. That equates to as much as $1.3 million today. This massive project may be past its prime, but it still has a massive effect on transportation in the U.S. today. Without this project being a success, the transportation system in the U.S. could be decades or even a century behind where it is now. You can still see the place where the two railroads met at Golden Spike National Historic Site about 35 miles northwest of Salt Lake City, Utah. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.